I've known I was trans my whole life, but I didn't come out until I was 11 years old in 2015. When I had to live my life as a girl on the outside, it was very hard for me to make social interactions with people, go out in public because something always felt off inside of me. Being able to start my transition at 11 was just like so overwhelming and scary, but exciting and I feel grateful. Say a trans person came out at eight and they had to wait till they were 18 to start hormone replacement therapy and not even able to get puberty blockers so their body has fully now go through puberty. That now makes transitioning 10 times more hard and traumatizing. It's extremely important for trans youth to be able to transition at puberty. I think without that, all of these kids who know who they are deep down inside would never get the opportunity to live their childhood as their truth. And I think that's just horrendous. And I think it's just transgender genocide. If I was not able to transition at the age I was, I would not have made it to 18. I do not think the government should be denying trans healthcare. It's life-saving healthcare. It's needed healthcare. It's necessary healthcare. I truly believe being able to transition as a teen saves lives. Well, Reese, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So you're, you're saying that the burden of having to live, you know, trapped, not being able to get access to the care that, that you wanted, the transition that you wanted to do, you're saying you, you don't know that you would have been able to carry that burden to 18. I know for a fact that I definitely would not have been able to make it to where I am now without the medical professional help that I was given at the age I was. I wouldn't be here. What, what is it about it that would have been more than you could endure? It was just being stuck in a body that wasn't mine for too long. I could not handle that. I was so young and it needed to happen when it happened. And I was a swimmer and putting on a swimsuit and being in the wrong body, I could not handle that. And I ended up quitting the swim team and I had to transition to live my life. I couldn't go outside anymore. I couldn't live, I couldn't breathe in this body that was not mine. It just felt alien to you. Yeah, yeah. completely. Now, how were you certain that that is what it was versus something else? I always knew I went to bed at five years old. I want to be a boy. Wake me up tomorrow as a boy. It was always boy toys, boy McDonald's meals, boy everything. I was a boy, just not on the outside. Okay. I always knew. What was the first thing that you were allowed to do? Cut my hair, change my name, pronouns. That's it. That's okay. all. And how did that affect you? Happiest day of my life. I got my hair cut. Yeah. I still have that hair <laughs> in a plastic bag in my room. You and saved I, it? Yeah, I saved it. My mom did. She was like, I'm saving this. And it was yeah. the best feeling ever. All right. And you ultimately had surgery? Yeah, I had a double mastectomy just last year in November. Okay. And why did you wait several years to do that? I had a very small chest, so it was easy to be able to push it aside, wear my binder for a little bit longer, wait till I'm older. Okay. And did you feel the need to wait? Did you think, you know, this, I could change. I could feel differently. What? I didn't want to wait. I wanted, I was eligible at 15. I went to get it at 15 and I just was too young to go through with it at that age for myself personally, but someone who has a bigger chest, who's also that age, wouldn't definitely need it if they felt like they did. And I think they should be able to get it. You say denying it for others is transgenocide. Yes. It, is that because you say it would have been death to you if, if you hadn't had the opportunity? Death to me and many other trans kids. What do you think about kind of this thing that's going around in society where a lot of people are being canceled for questioning over affirmation? For example, like I, if I had a friend who identified as transgender, I would be wanting to question them and be like, why do you think you're transgender? Not because I don't think they should transition or that I hate trans people. I just want to make sure that they're making the right decision for them because hormones and surgeries are very, very permanent. And once you get those, you absolutely cannot go back to it on a lot of things. And so I think that there just has to be some form of mediation between that. Yeah, I think the mediation should stick between doctors, medical professionals, and patients. I think any outside questions and opinions could be answered by a trans person if they're open to answer those questions, but that's a personal experience that you don't have to share how you found out or why you know you're trans. It's just you know because you know who you are. Do you have a story or a question for me?